Good morning. It's about 10 till 8. Time to start the day. Good morning to you. Good morning. Are you here to greet me? Yes. Good morning, city. Oh my goodness. We're doing peekaboo this morning. We see you. Let's start the morning off right. I've been through a lot of non-dairy creamers and I find that this Chobani extra creamy oat milk really froths nicely in my little milk frother. And the taste is excellent in coffee. And I sweeten with the white stevia powder from New Naturals. So officially, good morning, <laughs> now that I've got some coffee in me. Today's video is really about simple steps that we can all take toward living a healthier life. For me, it started, actually for me, it started the night before with getting a good night's rest. And I've talked to you guys quite a bit about natural supplements that I take to help with that. I'm still using Alteril. And the other one that I'm using is a product by Wellamoon and it's sleep support patches. Seems to be my winning combo, but these are kind of cool and they just peel and stick right there and you sleep with it on. And uh, last night I slept pretty well. I'm gonna have to check my aura ring and, and see, but I can tell by how I feel that I did well. I got to bed on the earlier side, probably around 10.30 and woke up once to go to the bathroom. And then again, I don't know, like 6.30 and finally got out of bed when you saw me at 10 till eight. So all in all, I think I did well. Sleep is an imperfect science at this age. <laughs> it's, a, it's kind of a crapshoot, but we try and we do our best. And I, I really try to stick with natural products to help me in that area. I also, as you can see with my coffee and my beautiful mom mug, I uh, have always tried to go with a non-dairy type of a creamer. I don't do sugar or minimally unless someone throws a dessert in my face on the weekend and I can't say no. But that's sort of my starting point. And we'll talk a little bit more about food throughout the video and movement, lifestyle, because I truly believe healthy living is just that. It's, it's a lifestyle choice. It's how we choose to rest, move, eat, meditate, pray. It's everything all rolled into one. And, um, yeah, it's critical to me. And so we'll talk more about each individual thing as the day goes along. Oh my gosh, what a glorious day. I wanted to uh, take a moment and share something with you that you may actually find to be helpful. It's a supplement that I've been taking lately, and it has really, really improved my gut health. You know, when we enter midlife, it seems we can get all these fun digestive issues, things like bloating and gas that tend to pop up and well, I actually found something that is working and helping to improve my gut health, improve my digestion, and it's called Symbiotic, and it's by a company called Ritual. I've talked about them before. In fact, they've got a multivitamin for women over 50, and they also have a protein powder that I really, really like. But now they've got this new product called Symbiotic, and what is great about it after doing some research, it's really a daily three-in-one supplement. And it combines prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. Now, I bet you've never heard of that before. I, I certainly hadn't either until I started researching this. But postbiotics actually help support the cells in our gut lining, which in turn promotes gut, digestive, and immune health. And this supplement is really designed to reach the colon and not just sit in the stomach. And that's really important. So when you think about it, prebiotics, they're the ones that foster the growth of all that good, healthy bacteria in our gut. The probiotics are those live microorganisms, and they're the ones that help to relieve the bloating, the gas, even mild and occasional diarrhea. And now I'm adding postbiotics to the mix. And I kind of see this as sort of a full coverage insurance policy for my gut, really. What's really nice is that it's just one capsule a day. Looks like so. 
um, any time of day without a meal, incredibly easy to take. Symbiotic is also a clean formula. So that's a bonus. And it has kind of a mint smell to it. Since Ritual knows how dedicated I am to my health and my wellness journey, especially how important it is for me to share that with you, they wanted to offer you something special by giving you 30% off your first month of Symbiotic if you are interested in this product. So I think that's really, really nice. All you have to do is either scan the QR code on the screen, or you can visit ritual.com slash DSOXA30 and use code DSOXA30. Thank you, Ritual. I really, really appreciate you doing that for my audience. And now on with the day. Although I could sit here and hang out for the rest of the day and be perfectly happy. So how I really love today as I'm enjoying my coffee is sitting over here in my podcast set, which I've moved where my dining table was. And I really prefer it. It's such a nice little cozy area to read. It's my little reading nook. And I love Sarah Young's Jesus Calling, the daily devotionals. And I had just read for today. So I'm, I'm shooting today's video on October 7th. And in today's devotional, it's about entrusting our worries into God's care and that his presence is with us always and that we are to trust in that and to let it drive out the darkness and fear that lies within us. Today is the day the Lord has made and he is abundantly present in it. And when I think about the past couple of years in my life, and so many of you have reached out to me about it and have said, you know, I don't know how you got through, what a challenging time, so much change, so much transition. And I honestly can tell you that I could not have done it without my connection to God and my prayer practice and my belief system. And I can think about so many years where everything was great and wonderful and it's so easy to give thanks during those times, right? When everything is just rolling downstream. But when you feel like the salmon swimming upstream, I think that's when God really wants us to press into that gratitude. Because even when you feel like you're just, you're struggling, you're struggling, you're trying to come up for air, you know, the current's just pushing you down. But if you can find the gratitude and you can find the blessings in those moments, that's really when our faith is just released. And I think that's when God just shows out in our life in such powerful ways, the lessons that we learn, if our spirit, eyes, and ears are really tuned in, the growth that we discover in ourselves, the resilience, the tenacity, the appreciation for things that maybe we took for granted. And as challenging as this time has been, I can honestly say I'm probably closer to myself and closer to God than ever before. And I'm grateful to him for the challenges because it has sharpened me in a way that I'm blessed for. So yeah, thank you, God. Thank you for letting me share. I always make my bed before I start my day. I just need my space to be clean and, and tidy. And there's just something about making a bed that sets the stage for the rest of your day. Okay, so now let's talk about exercise. For me, that absolutely has to happen in the morning or else it's not going to happen. And yoga is what it, what it takes for me to get into a place to get my body moving. It speaks to me, as I've mentioned before, on a physical, mental, and a spiritual level. It's so much harder than most people think. I do a flow yoga class there is a lot of holding of poses that really fires all of the muscle groups. So there's a lot of strength training, which we as women in midlife desperately need in order to prevent muscle loss and bone loss. So I try to incorporate as much strength training as I can. I find it in yoga. I find it in weightlifting. And then to get my cardio, I will do a walk, which on a day like today, we've had a wonderful cool front move through Houston. So our high will only be 75, which most of you are probably laughing, but for us, that's a big deal. So uh, let's go to a yoga class and go through some movements, take care of that part, and then eat because I will be famished. Saturday morning classes are generally packed. Let's go find a spot.
Okay, time for the first meal of the day. As you guys know, I do intermittent fasting, so I try not to eat until 11 a.m. or beyond. I made it to noon today. Um, it is a smoothie. I do plant protein, and that way I get, um, let's see how many grams of protein I get in my smoothie. I have readers on the bottom of these. That's why I can um, read it. 25 grams of protein, and I also have my fruit in the morning. I like to have my natural sugars in the morning as opposed to the evening. Um, I do a little bit of almond milk and a little bit of my coconut pie drink in there, and it's just like the magic flavor. Many of you may wonder, why do I do a plant protein instead of whey? My stomach just has a thing with whey, and I don't do dairy, so I'm very sensitive to it, so no way <laughs> for me. But uh, yeah, this, Ascent plant protein, I think is a pea protein and it's vanilla bean flavor, so it tastes really good. Let's start whirling and swirling. Mm. This is some dark purple deliciousness right here. <laughs> bon appetit. Time to feel the sunshine and let somebody do his business. Okay, like I said, this weather feels way too good to be staying inside. Got a little taste of it while I was walking Oscar. And I had mentioned to you that I was gonna head out to the park today because it is a weekend and it's just so rare to get this opportunity to get this kind of exercise in. So I am taking advantage of it and putting on my SPF. <laughs> I was laughing. I reached for this, it's by Sunday Riley. It's called Naked Sundays. And I thought, ah, we're just a day off. It's Naked Saturday, but good enough. I have a feeling the park is going to be packed. Our Houston Astros are playing today, which is, I mean, Astros Orange, Ghost Rose. But the game is like a three something, and I'm trying to head out to the park by 1.32. So we'll see how crazy it is, but I'm just excited to get out. Finally made it out here. It is beautiful and not too crowded, which is amazing, considering <laughs> what a nice day it is today. I think everybody's either getting ready for the Astros game or prepping to see it or host it or, who knows what, but anyway, I'm so grateful to be out here to feel the breeze, to feel the sun on my face. I think time outside is critical. I think we're just meant to, to have the wind kind of toss our hair and the sunshine on us and the feet, the feet on the ground, walking barefoot. I've even talked about grounding and how important I think that is. Now granted, I know today is a Saturday all days do not look like today, but what I'm trying to show are different little nuggets, things that maybe you can incorporate in a day. And maybe your day doesn't have all of these things in it, but maybe it can have some of these things. And I do believe it's the accumulation and the sum of the whole. And all of these things are just so great for physical and mental health. So I am seriously enjoying this and I, I hope you detect that. Three miles complete. Whoop, whoop. It's about this time when I start to get hungry and I like to snack on nuts. They're really filling, um, good fats. And my favorite are, so unsalted cashews, lightly salted pistachios and almonds. And I just mix them together in a bowl. And that's kind of my go-to little nashi stuff before dinner time. Another really important aspect, I think to healthy living is just time spent with friends and family. So I am incredibly lucky because tonight I am going bowling with a good friend of mine, her son, and my son. The two of them are buds and she and I have become friendly because of that. And we thought initially, let's go to dinner, but then, you know, why not make it more of an experience and do something that boys their age would wanna do. So bowling it is, and this is going to present another little tricky aspect because as you well know, Food at bowling alleys isn't always the healthiest. So I am of the belief that you can find or create healthy food no matter where you are. So we're going to give it a try along with some strikes and spares, okay? See you at the lanes.
take my word for it. I suck today. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, Doing a soup salad with want? chicken. Brussels. <gasps> nice. So Allison killed it. Killed it. Literally. What was your high score? 133. What? 133. I was happy to break 100 today. It was not a good game for me. The moms brought it. The moms did bring it. I know. We did. And we had really good food. That's healthy. So at the end of the day, I really like to take some time and journal. It's something that I actually started to do when my mom passed. I was told by a lot of different people that journaling would be very healthy for me, and it has been. It's been incredibly cathartic in many, many ways. I've always been a writer, but getting thoughts down on paper and the rich detail of them is critical, I think, because as time goes by, we get separated from that detail and we lose the clarity. And, and there are times in our life when we want to remember the clarity and the rich detail and we won't have the recall until we open up a book and start turning the pages and read everything that we saw, touched, thought, and felt. So I'm sort of such a firm believer in the power of the written word and I journal about a lot of different things. I journal about my mother, I journal about life, good things that happen, not so good things that happen, just where my headspace is and, and letting, letting the free flow of thought take place. But the one thing I do find that is really important to write about is what I'm grateful for. And it kind of brings us full circle to this morning, right? And reading Jesus Calling. I think there are so many things that we can distinguish. And as we talk about events and talk about thoughts and talk about feelings, it's always nice to just still remember and find and remind and put into word what was so great. And I have from this day alone, so many things that I can write in this book that I am so grateful for. Things that create a very happy, healthy, fulfilling life in every way. I'll have you know, this was my mother's robe. And I just, I feel her presence right now with me as I talk about all of these things. And she was such a firm believer in a healthy lifestyle. And she was so proactive in eating right, moving, sleeping, everything. I feel like I'm just, I'm continuing her legacy in a way of how well she lived up until 87. You guys know she was the most vibrant thing ever. So if I could be anything like Audrey, I will be happy. Thanks for being with me on this journey today. I hope you found some takeaways. I hope you take care of you. I hope that's the biggest takeaway from all of this. Go out, be bold, and be blessed. See you next time.